Hi guys, Diane here with Terrific Planner again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video of uh, different meals that we've been having uh, throughout the past few months. I've been recording a few just to keep them in there. So you'll probably hear me mention certain days and they're out of order. That is why. Um, and you'll probably hear a Monday multiple times. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys some of those uh, meals for now. Um, just to throw up a video for you guys to get an idea of how we've been eating. Um, so yeah, that is what you guys will be seeing right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we had homemade pizza. Um, this pizza here is um, for all of us. So my youngest had just cheese. My older one had pepperoni, jalapeno, and cheese. My husband had jalapeno, pepperoni, and pineapple. And mine is the one at the bottom um, right-hand corner, which has spinach, mushrooms, chicken, and I make a pesto sauce. And mine was made with uh, whole wheat. Well, theirs is just my regular um, pizza dough. Uh, I just have to eat a bit different than they do. Um, so mine was a little more <laughs> like cardboard until I find the right whole wheat um, dough to make for myself. But theirs is perfect. So um, this is what we had for dinner this night. And we tend to have pizza night every Sunday. So um, yeah, it's a fun little tradition we have going on right here for the moment. So as you can see here, I have some stir-fry vegetables cooking. Um, I already have my chicken cooked and I have my eggs. Um, this is a frozen pack. Let me show you here in my um, trash bowl. But it's just one of the stir-fry stir blends from Target. And as I said, I'm just heating them through right now. Um, I know this isn't traditionally what you make uh, chicken fried rice with. But... Um, my husband and my one of my daughters, they don't like peas. Um, I'm okay with them. It's not a big deal. But um, So we go with what we have. So long as we have vegetables, we really don't care. Um, we're not going to make it exactly how it is so long as we have our vegetables. Anyways, um, I have the stir-fry uh, vegetables. We're not going to use all of this for the, the fried rice right now. We're going to actually only use uh, about half of it. The other half, after it's heated through, I'm going to put in a Tupperware. And then that's going to be used for an egg scramble in the morning. But anyways, I have that cooking away over on this side. As you can see, I already have my chicken that is cooked. And then I have already cooked up some of my eggs. And then um, we're trying to clean out the pantry. And I found some of this rice in there. So I'm going to make it even easier for myself. And then just throw this into the pot. I'm not adding any soy sauce or anything like that because of the girls. Once again, they're not really into that. Um, but uh, we will have our own soy sauce um, on our own plate when we want. So, you know, it all just comes down to making things uh, to work for your family. So, um, yeah. And as I'm doing all of this, I am cleaning up the kitchen and washing the dishes. And that's just a way to make sure that I don't end up with a whole bunch of dishes by the end of dinner time. Anyways, I will come back when I start putting everything together to show you guys, okay? Okay, so here is our dinner for tonight. As I said, it's the ch our version of chicken fried rice. You guys make it the traditional way if you want, but this is how we do it here. Um, it just works for us. Um, that's just how I see it. You guys are going to make whatever works for your family, but this works for us. My husband and I are the only ones that will eat the soy sauce and stuff, but instead of actual soy sauce, we're going to be using some liquid aminos. Um, this tastes exactly like soy sauce. Um, so just a little bit on there for mine and a little for my husband and then the girls are having oh we're having ours with a side of salad just because it's salad that I had in the fridge so we might as well use it and then the girls are going to have some cucumber that I cut and prepped for them yesterday all right guys so this is dinner tonight all right guys so here's an example of me not using the vegetables for my scramble so what I ended up doing was just using the vegetables with some ground turkey I mixed that in together with some brown rice and that is what we ended up having for dinner. I still had a pouch of that rice from the previous night from the pantry. When it's Wednesday, tonight's dinner is flat iron steak with some roasted um, potatoes and a side salad. Um, I'll have a link to the <coughs> recipe for the flat iron steak um, below for you guys, um, but it's balsamic something. Okay, so today we ended up having uh, tri-tip roast, and then this is some asparagus that was just cooked in the pan along with a little cornbread muffin. This is just a little jiffy cornbread mix 
uh, as I mentioned before, we were trying to eat out of the pantry as much as we could. Um, and then this right here is just the roast we had from Butcher Box. Tonight is Sunday, and I had my husband grill some, um, what is this meat called again? Flank some flank steak. <laughs> and some of my chicken here, and I ended up making some tortas. A torta is a Mexican meal type of thing. It's like a Mexican sandwich. Um, this one is on a telera bread, and then it has avocado, um, jalapenos. There's the meat. There's tomato in there. There's some... Um, it's almost like sour cream, but it's not sour cream. It's like a, I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's called crema fresca. Um, and then there's some casica cheese in there as well. This is what it looks like. If I can get it to show you. I split it in half just so you can see the inside. And then mine's chicken because I don't do the red meat. But, um, yeah, that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Hey, everyone. Today we are having, um... This right here, which is uh, Mexican style uh, beef with zucchini. Um, I will have a link to the recipe listed down below. It's a recipe I found on Pinterest, and I will also let you guys know um, later in the video um, how it tasted, if we liked it. Um, and this is just one of those like spring mix salads that you can get like already made like from Aldi and Costco and all that. It's just like the bin. Um, so just with a little dressing on the side, and that's it. That's our dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner, we're having a pot roast. I made this pot roast inside the crock pot. I have some leftover in here as well. Um, so that'll be good for tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it's basically just a roast with carrots and potatoes. I threw some onion in there and some seasonings and then a side salad. So real simple today since it was all done in the crock pot. All right, guys, I'm going to go enjoy. All right, guys, on this day, I lost my clip, but basically it's just shrimp with a little... Uh, broccoli slaw mix and it's just cooked in some olive oil with a little bit of salt and paprika and it's good to go easy meal very very tasty hey everyone so for for dinner tonight we are having two different things my husband's having some steak i'm not sorry that's the dog <laughs> um i'm not sure what the steak is called i'll actually um put the name of it on the screen here for you guys but um we had it from a previous butcher box we haven't had butcher box in a while so this has been in the freezer for a while i am going to be getting butcher box again soon so you will be seeing some of those uh pretty soon but anyways there's some brown rice and some green beans and then on mine i just have some chicken breast uh green beans as well and the brown rice i'm just not having the red meat because i don't have red meat that often maybe once a week okay so here is dinner it is some salmon for everybody husband and i are having um, sugar snap peas with ours and the girls are having some of the strawberries that we had left um, and that is our dinner for tonight uh simple yummy and yeah leaves us with some leftovers too um but yeah and i will also be <laughs> recording my um school lunches for those of you that are interested in those um these are next Right, guys so it is Wednesday and today we're just eating out of the fridge whatever we have leftovers and stuff like that um, for the girls um, I already put the other one on the table but it's just a regular quesadilla with some ground beef in it um, call this one a taco dia around here um, and then for us it's just some chicken that was grilled I just cut up into small pieces and I just make some cauliflower rice with uh, some corn and that's it. It's just stuff that we had in the freezer and in the fridge and it's just easy way to clear out the fridge um, and the freezer. That way we don't end up wasting any food. All right, so this is our food for Wednesday. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, okay, so for dinner tonight, one of the things we're having as a side is our asparagus. I just put a little bit of olive oil in here with a little tiny dab of butter. And then we also have um, some... Five cheese uh, Texas toast going in the toaster oven. And then my husband is grilling some steaks. So this is our fancy meal. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you everything once it's plated. That's going to sit there for a tiny bit. I'm going to add a little, little tiny bit of salt to it. Alright guys, here it is. Um, this is our dinner tonight. Huge steaks, asparagus, and um, the Texas toast like I said. This is really, really big, so there's definitely going to be some leftovers of this. Um, so this will go for another meal probably tomorrow for breakfast or something for my husband. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like 
All right, guys, so that's all for this video. Please subscribe and like if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to click the little bell. It'll notify you each and every single time that I post a new video. And I am trying to be a little more consistent, so you will see a, a few more um, around the channel. Bye.